Hello folks, another uh, another video coming your way. This one will be shorter, just uh, just something that had been in my mind for uh, for uh, several months and um, I thought it would be something good to convey to others, um, uh, especially, you know, people my age or even younger than me that are trying to sort of uh, discover their own uh, path or pursuit or tra trajectory in life. And perhaps um, uh, how the how how the question uh, in, in terms of uh, guidance how they are conventionally uh, uh, arranged is perhaps uh, not really uh, offering any um, any help of any sort. So uh, let me just get onto it. So as a kid, as a teenager. Um, you know, this is a question we often uh, encounter. What do you want to be when you grow up? You see, at the age of 24, I, I, I still can't answer this question. And this is just, perhaps every individual encounters this question. It's really, the question really got to be re reformed. Uh, and online, I come across a better way that this question was formed and it is this one in particular what problems do you want to solve what problems do you wish to solve now this is a this is definitely a more wider encompassing than the previous one um, but really it it um, it is perhaps still uh, quite vague you know because um they're you know trying to um uh get you know trying to uh set yourself you set your life up with a, a question or two that may really be quite a uh quite a difficult um thing to um uh, ascertain you know I mean, at the age of 24, I, you know, I have questions, but I don't know how many there are, you know, there are, you know, there's one question, uh, but really the one question, what is exactly truth, you know, that could be uh, divided up to say a dozen questions and those dozen questions can uh, branch out to yet more questions. So really, um, again, with this um, it's uh, lacking in really giving me a purpose in my life. So I wish to suggest another way in which this question uh, to guide somebody's life can be uh, uh, can be uh, uh, can be put into words. Uh, so check it out. How can you be most creative? Now, the way I put it, it's not necessarily uh, the final and most perfect way to uh, wonder about this uh, question, but I want to get to the point, which is basically that um, I, I, I wish to make the case that everybody got this creative force or creative potential within them. So your purpose as an individual in order to really uh, find the pursuit that you gotta uh, you gotta chase after in life is to find how that creative potential within you can best be channeled. All right, so let, let's give us let's let's go through some examples. Let's say here's a kid here, um, but but he as a person as an individual got to go ahead and try various things you know at least put in some decent effort into every every sort of uh, activity that uh, that may interest a person and eventually to discover how the create creativity within him or her uh, can best be expressed for example it could be through playing the piano for example if this person never went ahead and uh, tried to put in the practice uh, in the activity of playing a piano then they would they could possibly have such a great talent 
but yet never discover that talent to be actually pr pr present within them. Uh, so that's a uh, that's, uh, wasted opportunity and never discovered. So piano is just one example. Let's say another is uh, archery uh, that this person uh, could have possibly been a, become a, a fantastic archer, but never uh, bothered to uh, uh, practice in the sport. Or let's say writing. Let's say this person, uh, um, after um, after some training, after some uh, effort put into increasing one's vocabulary, could have been uh, quite an articulate, quite an uh, eloquent writer. But but uh, that was you know if if one doesn't uh, uh, traverse or uh, um, uh, sample once uh, possibilities then they will never come to discover uh, that uh, potential so the point is one got a sample around through various activities you know uh, if anything uh, interest them to a slight degree try to you know try to at least go through the beginner level of that program of that training of that uh, particular activity and see where that gets you. And if you're still interested, then you got to go ahead and see how the masters within that activity, how they have, you know, uh, try to learn about them, try to be inspired by them. And, um, as, uh, and as much as possible, wherever ap applicable, try to imitate them. You know, try to imitate them in their ways and the in the in the way they uh, practice this particular activity, and uh, eventually you will find your own personality within that activity. Let's say uh, uh, in in playing the piano, you look up to the greats, and you you know you learn their notes and their particular uh, compositions. But eventually, once you keep at it, you can perhaps come up with your own and uh, become a, a, a great composer yourself. So once you discover these uh, masters of the art, you got to go ahead and study them. Perhaps they've written books. Perhaps uh, others have written about them. And maybe there are uh, divisions within this activity. Maybe there are different schools of approach. So you got to really familiarize yourself with the subtle subtleties within the activity. You know, you got to really within the activity, and that in itself. Uh, uh, practicing the activity and learning about the activity and its masters, uh, you are already uh, occupying yourself uh, 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 with with studying and work uh, and working to uh, better yourself uh, in in terms of this activity and some because uh, uh, really. Um, bettering yourself in this activity is perhaps also indirectly uh, affecting other uh, spheres of your life in a positive manner, in a positive way. So, you know, just you being occupied and uh, ha uh, placing yourself the pursuit of becoming better and better in that activity uh, already uh, sets yourself with a purpose in life. And, uh, you know, um, and as you uh, progress through uh, your training and uh, you see the outcome that you end up with a year or two later of, uh, of uh, de uh, determination, persistence, you know, you could really come to be proud of your effort and, uh, and, uh, and not only be inspired by others but be inspiring to others and uh, yeah that's that's something that's something that one could really anticipate with uh, with determination anyways folks this is a short one 
But that's basically all I had to say.